Hi and welcome back to Free Deep Hub. Today, as part of the lab exercises, I'll be covering a tool called Better Cap. We are covering a course on ethical hacking, so we are trying to cover different tools that we can use in order to learn what are man in the middle attacks and what are the consequences if you are using any public open networks. Now with this tool, you can uh, literally hack any computer on the network because you'll be able to see the traffic or the websites that they are trying to access. So uh, you'll place yourself in between the uh, target and the router itself. So you'll be able to sniff all the communication which is taking place between the target and your router. So BetterCap is the tool for today. It's a Swiss Army knife tool. It's used to hack Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, low energy wireless devices, and even your ethernet connections. Now our target would be Windows uh, 10 machine which is on right hand side and uh, our um, attacker or the machine through which I launch an attack would be Kali Linux. Now this course is purely for academic purposes. Kindly don't use the tools and techniques taught in this course for anything other than the academic purposes. Further, you must have written explicit permission if you are launching an attack on another computer. Since we are doing it on a uh, virtual instance, both machines are available on a net virtual network and they can see each other I'll show you how can we do it actually on a machine now first of all you'll open your uh, Kali terminal window and make sure that you are logged in as a super user once you are logged in we'll type in sudo and better cap if you don't have it installed kindly install it on your computer procedure is quite simple for that so now that would load the uh, better cap on your machine now the first thing I want to do is I want to see all the users who are currently connected to my network now that's the same case if you're using an internet provided by a hotel or in uh, shopping malls on airports and any public places wherever the network is available so kindly don't use their networks unless and until if you have a VPN connection and I'll show you the difference in a while so in order to see all the computers on the network you'll type net.probe and then you'll say on so now it would search for all the computers which are currently available on our network and as you can see it has identified some machines on it and this is the machine that we are going to target which is our Windows 10 and if you want to verify the IP address of this one I'll type ipconfig and you can see this is the IP address of Windows 10 machine. Now I want to see all the devices in a table so for that I'll type net.show and it would show me in a table like uh, as I told you this is my target target Windows 10 and uh, the rest of the things are other devices on the network so I'll mainly focus on this one for which I have an IP address 192.168.189.132 as you can see over here now once the target is identified now we'll try to launch the ARP attack now you know in ARP attack what would happen is that I'll place myself in between Windows 10 and the router so that all communication which would take place win between Windows 10 and the router I'll be able to see that on the network now in order to enable that you'll type set and then you'll type ARP dot spoof dot targets and then type in the IP address 192.168.189.132 and then you'll press enter so now it has enabled the spoofing for that target now since we have set the target now now we'll enable spoofing on it so we'll type arp.spoof and then we'll type in on so now it has started spoofing the target machine you can read it over here that it has started spoofing now we want to sniff that whatever goes on on our remote computer we shall be able to see it over here so in order to enable the sniffing we'll type net dot sniff on so now it has started sniffing the target machine which is windows 10. Now let's try to open the browser on our target machine and see how it reacts to that so if i'll go to go.com you can see it's noting down all the activity which is going back on the target machine if i'll go to for example www.cnn.com it is noting down all the activities which are going on our target machine so 
the most dangerous part of this activity is that if you are accessing or the target is accessing any http website which is a website on which the communication would be in a clear text format they'll be able to capture the communication on that and they can even decipher it to see the username and password clearly now i'll show you the difference that if you are using a vpn how it helps you um, as you can see i'm using a free vpn over here which is siphon i'll connect it and then i'll try to access certain websites you'll still be able to see some traffic over here but that traffic would be for the applications which are running in the background but most of the communication would be hidden for example if i'm going to yahoo.com it won't scroll that fast as it was scrolling earlier um, it's trying to get some basic google and other things but it's not actually able to see that what i'm trying to access on a remote website now if i'll go to um, for example target.com and uh, we'll see that if there is any activity over here or not still there is no activity on our remote machine as you can see it cannot even understand that the user went on target and he's actually trying to access certain things on it but on the other side if i'll switch it off you'll be able to see that the traffic would start flowing at a top speed now that's the difference and that's why vpn is always recommended uh, to be used if you are using any public network uh, on any network so that's it for today a small exercise for um, better cap i hope you got some idea about it that's it for today thank you very much